If you ask most people in the world, is this a table? Of course they say yes. And that's why most people in the world cannot do data analysis. If you're an analyst and you look at this table, your immediate reaction should be, nope, not a table. And the reason why is because, well, it looks like there's a record in a table, but that row represents four records. That means in the table that we can actually use for data analysis, we list city four times in a city column, then take their column conditions, list them in a company column. These four numbers then properly get four records in a properly structured table. And why this matters is easy. Now we have a table, we can sort use a pivot table or any of the other data analysis tools that require a proper table, like our wonderful box and whisker chart. Now the question is, how do I get this awful cross tab into a proper table? Well, we use Power Query. Power Query requires that we convert this to an Excel table, even though it's not a proper table. Insert tab, table button, or control T. Click OK. Always name the table. I named it Ratings, Data, Get and Transform Data Group from Table Range. This will bring our table into Power Query. In the Power Query Editor, select City, right click, Unpivot Other Columns. That means the other columns have variable names as column headers that need to be recorded row by row in separate records. Click and bam, we have a proper table. Power Query added a step, and up here we can see the amazing table.unpivotOtherColumns function. It tried to be polite and name the two fields, but I'm going to double click. This means we're editing the M code, the formula. We'll call this company. Double click. Value will become rating. Let's click the checkbox over here. That's much better. We want to make sure and add data types. Click the first column. Hold shift. Click the last one. Transform, this usually gets it right, detect data types. And sure enough, it got whole number and text for both company and city. Now we can close and load. So we go to home, close and load drop down, close and load two. And I'm going to put it as a table on this sheet. I'm going to put it right next to that cross tab so we can look over and admire a proper table. Click OK. And now with the proper table, we can use any of our data analysis tools.